now let's use that same idea of regrouping uh, with subtraction, and we have a special name for it called borrowing. I've drawn here 413, 400, one, four hundreds, one ten, and three ones. And I need to start by taking out five ones from this column. Well, I don't have five ones to take away. I only have three ones to take away. So in this case, I'm going to borrow from the tens column. I also, go, I'm going to look ahead and notice that I can't take away there from the tens column either. So I'm going to save myself a step and start all the way over here where I need to begin because I didn't have enough in the tens column, nor in the ones column, I'm gonna start with my hundreds column. So I'm gonna take one of those hundreds, and I'm going, it's a, you're picturing a flat, and I'm gonna karate chop it into 10 pieces, 10 equal pieces, and when I do that, it's gonna turn into 10 tens, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So I took that hundred away, and turned it into 10 tens. You show that in the uh, subtraction algorithm by taking away a um, 100. So we now we went down to 300. There they are, one, two, three. And I'm adding 10 tens into the hundreds place, into the tens place. So I'm adding 10 plus that one that's there, it's 11. Now I want to send enough ones over here so that I can subtract this five. So I'm going to take one of my tens away, and I'm going to karate chop it into ten equal pieces, which turns it into ten ones, ten more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten ones. And over here, I would take where I had eleven tens, I'm going to take one away, so going down one would be ten. And I'm going to add those, I'm going to karate chop it into 10 ones and add those 10 ones to the three that are already there. So that gives me 13 ones. Now I'm ready to take away from each of those place values. So I'm going to take away five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm left with six, seven, eight. Same thing here. 13 minus five is eight. Here I'm told to take away seven. So that one was already gone because I, I sent it over to the ones column. So I'm taking away seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm left with three tens. I'm gonna check that over here. 10 minus seven is three. And then I'm told to take away one from the hundreds um, place value. And I'm left with two. 3 minus 1 is 2. So when you need to borrow, these are this is what I'm thinking in my brain when I'm borrowing. I'm taking 1 from a place value, so I'm taking out 1. I'm breaking that into 10 smaller pieces. And then I'm adding that, those 10 smaller pieces, to the next smallest place value. There's one um, special problem that maybe in third grade you discovered a pattern. Uh, when you are subtracting across zeros, you might have realized that you can cross your zeros off and um, instead of doing all the steps of bar, you can use a shortcut, nine, 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 and in their last zero, you put a 10 over top. But we need to think about why that really happens. So we need to know why you're using this nine, 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 nine 10 shortcut. So let's look at an example here and see why this uh, pattern makes sense. I have all these zeros and I can't take away any, I can't take away anything from these, so I have to start all the way at the 10 thousands place. So if I start and take away a 10 thousand, I'm gonna have one less 10 thousand, and I'm gonna chop, take my 10 thousand and chop it into 10 thousands. So this now becomes 10 thousands, well, then I'm going to take one of those thousands away. So I go down one to nine. And now I'm going to turn the 10,000, I'm sorry, I'm going to turn the, the thousand into ten hundreds. So that would be t like taking a cube and breaking it up into ten flats. So now I'm going to take one of my flats away. So I'm going to have nine. And I'm going to take my hundred and chop it into ten tens. And I'm going to take one of my rods away, and I'm going to break it into 10 ones. And now I'm ready to do my subtraction. 10 minus 7 is 3. 
9 minus 4 is 5, 9 minus 1 is 8, 9 minus 5 is 4, and 4 minus 3 is 1. I'm going to go back and check each one of those. 5, yes, yes, yes. All right. So um, I want you to, when you're, if you decide to use this shortcut, make sure you are remembering why, why that makes sense. And I just want to remind you to check your ones digit. One of the most common mistakes that I see fourth graders make is that they get a little bit nine happy and they just write nines all the way across and they get to this place and have a nine instead of a 10. Well, there's nothing to borrow. We're not taking away anything from this guy. So he's got to stay a 10 when you break the tens place into 10 ones. And finally, I want to encourage you to use um, the method we're getting ready to talk about to check your subtraction. Uh, addition and subtraction are inverse operations. Inverse is another word for opposite. And that makes sense. Think about if you were to subtract something away, the way to get back to what you started with is to add it back. So adding and subtracting are the opposite of each other. So we can use that to check a problem. By the way, I want you to see that the parts of a subtraction problem have a special name. The number that you're taking away from is called the min minuend. The number that you are taking away is the subtrahend. And then the answer to a subtraction problem is the difference. So here's a little rhyme that I came up with that might help you. Start at the bottom and add the next get to the top, you pass the test. So what that means is we're going to get an answer and then we are going to add it to the subtrahend and if we get the number that we started with then we know that we got it correct. So let's go through all those steps. We'll do the subtraction and then we'll do the checking too. I can't do 8 minus 9 so I have to borrow from the 10s. I'm going to take one 10 away, chop it into 10 equal pieces and I'm going to add that over here. So I'll have 18 ones. 18 minus 9 is 9, 8 minus 4 is 4, I can't do 6 minus 7, so I'm going to borrow from the thousands column, I'm going to take 1,000 away, chop it into 10 hundreds, and add that here to the 6 hundreds that are already there, so this becomes a 16, 16 minus 7 is 9, 4 minus 2 is 2, 4 minus 3 is 1, so I got 12,949. Now in order to check my, my difference, my answer, I'm going to add this 12,949 plus the subtrahend that I took away, 32,749. If I get this as my sum when I add them together, then I know I'm right. 9 plus 9 is 18. Very. 1 plus 4 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus 7 is 16. I need to carry my 10s. Um, one, two, that's five, and that's four. Forty-five thousand six hundred ninety-eight. And because I got what I started with, I know that I've got a correct difference here.